Hello students, welcome to the video lecture series on switch carrier potential. Today we will discuss about the induction relay torque equation. The question is asked for 7 to 8 marks. Derive the induction relay torque equation. Now for this derivation we have to consider the two magnetic fluxes that is phi 1 and phi 2. Different differing in time phase penetrated through a disc these alternating fluxes induce emf e1 and e2 in the disc which lag their respective fluxes by 90 degree these emf led to the flow of ad currents that is i1 and i2 by the interaction of phi1 with i2 and phi2 with i1 a driving torque is produced we know that Whenever there are two quantities are present, the two quantities are responsible for torque production. The current I1 and I2 lack the voltage E1 and E2 by the impedance angle lambda of the disc. Figure shows the vector diagram. So this is my induction disc arrangement and this is my two fluxes phi1 and phi2 which will create the eddy current I1 and I2. And this is the I2 and I1 are lag by E1 and E2 by angle lambda. We know that phi1 is directly proportional to the I1 sine of omega t and phi2 is directly proportional to the I2 sine of omega t plus alpha. As we know that EMF induced E1 is equal to or is directly proportional to the d phi1 by dt, which is directly proportional to the W into i1 cos of omega t e2 can be represented in the same manner d phi by 2 by dt is directly proportional to the omega into i2 into cos of omega t plus alpha where i1 and i2 can be represented in the manner i1 is directly proportional to the omega into i1 cos of omega t minus lambda whereas i2 is directly proportional to the omega into i2 cos of omega t plus alpha minus lambda. Therefore, the resultant torque is given by T is directly proportional to the phi 2 i1 minus phi 1 i2. It is directly proportional to the by putting all the values together that is phi 2 phi 1 i1 i2 the equation becomes T is directly proportional to the W or omega into i1 into i2 sin of omega t plus alpha cos of omega t minus lambda minus sin of omega t into cos of omega t plus alpha minus lambda which is directly proportional to the omega into i1 into i2 sin alpha into cos lambda. This can be represented with the help of t is directly proportional to the omega into i1 i2 into sin alpha. Thus, the induction relay is a sine comparator in which maximum torque is developed when alpha is 90 degree or 270 degree and zero torque when alpha is 0 degree or 20 degree. I hope you understand the torque equation of induction discrete. Thank you. God bless you.